Hello and welcome to another BPM Bullets Per Minute Boss Guide. Today we're going to be talking about Fafnir, the second best dancer in the game. My name is Schwingy, let's get started. Fafnir is the optional second boss that replaces Ymir if you chose to visit the Asgard Crypts during your run. To enter the Asgard Crypts, you'll need a key to unlock the door which can be obtained from a mini boss or from killing Draugr in Asgard 1. You don't actually have to kill Draugr though if you already have a key. Fafnir only has three moves. Expanding Circle Fafnir jumps in the air and sends an expanding ring out from his landing spot. If you touch the ring, you take damage. This move is easy enough to avoid, just jump over it towards him and you should be fine. Four Fireballs Fafnir throws four fireballs slightly ahead of you in the direction you are moving. They function similar to the projectiles thrown by the Guardians once per beat. These projectiles travel quickly and it's recommended that you dodge on each beat to avoid them. Notice the indicator next to your crosshair, letting you know that he's going to use this move. That's how I know when to dodge. Dance Partey! Fafnir starts busting out all the moves and dances in place like the wannabe Torin that he is. Meanwhile, the room's floor gets divided into squares like a chessboard. You have to stay out of the tiles that are lit up, which alternate every two beats. He does this four times, so eight beats total. Also, fun fact, flying and jumping up in the air won't help you at all. You have to be in the square that isn't lit up on the beat that the attack goes off. Here are some general tips to fighting him. At this point in the run, you should have hopefully been able to pick up a good item from the well room as well as gotten some stat upgrades by trading in coins at the tribute room. If you got lucky and got some damage upgrades or a solid weapon, this fight should be over before Fafnir even gets to do anything. If not, the fight will be a bit longer, but honestly it shouldn't be too bad. Stay at medium to long range if possible since the scariest thing in his kit are his fast fireballs. They come out really quickly and can catch you by surprise. Also, sometimes he'll use them right after using the big ring move, so try to time your dodge over the ring while in the air to avoid both moves in one go. Boss modifiers. Fafnir can't have any, so that's that I guess. You can run the trial that causes enemies to be doubled in each room and that will spawn two of them, but if you're doing that, you probably also don't need to watch this guide. Last little note before we end here, the music in this fight is so freaking good, listen to this. And that's it! If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please go ahead and hit that like button. It lets me know that you enjoyed it. I've got links to my other guides in the description below. Go ahead and check them out. Subscribe for more and as always, have a good one.